For the past few months, I've been collecting as many of the chemical elements as I can. And in this series, I'll be showing you my collection and explaining the science behind these building blocks of the universe. Let's start with element number one, hydrogen. Hydrogen is the lightest element, as it's usually only made out of one proton and one electron. I've got a little ampule of hydrogen gas here, and as you can see it doesn't really look like much, since hydrogen is colorless and transparent. However, if I hold it near a strong electric field, like this plasma ball, you can actually see it glow a bit. And if I use this thin film of plastic, called a diffraction grating, you can actually see the spectrum and individual wavelengths of light that hydrogen emits. In fact, under certain conditions, each element will give off their own unique spectrum of light, allowing scientists to analyze the makeup of stars and planets trillions of miles away. And thanks to these observations, we discovered that hydrogen is actually the most abundant element in the universe, making up over 75% of all known matter. Hydrogen is found throughout space, in stars, nebula, and gas giant planets like Jupiter. Here on Earth, hydrogen is most often found in water, or H2O, which covers 70% of the Earth's surface. We can actually split the water back into hydrogen and oxygen by using electricity. In this case, using a 9-volt battery attached to two graphite rods. We do need to add baking soda to work as an electrolyte and help the electrons flow through the solution. But pretty soon, we can see bubbles appearing on our carbon rods and start to fill up our test tubes. And after a little over an hour, we can see that one tube contains about twice as much gas as the other one. That's because for every oxygen atom in the water, there are two hydrogen atoms. So there's twice as much hydrogen gas as there is oxygen. Oh, and uh, I can prove this is hydrogen just by using a match. Besides water, hydrogen is found in all sorts of things, like acids and bases, nickel metal hydride batteries, hydroxides, hydrocarbons, carbohydrates, and much, much more. But we've got a lot more elements to go through, so we'll end here for now. Join us next time as we continue our journey through the periodic table.